Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to teach you step by step how we can easily use monday.com for real estate. I'm going to show you how we can easily use the templates and also what you can find with it and my tips and tricks what you can do with monday.com. So the first thing you want to do is just simply click add here and choose from templates. Now when you're going to have like search all templates, you want to write real estate or you can find it also in work management under education and here. You have option to uh, find real estate agency management or real estate CRM. I'm going to show you the CRM because probably that's what you're looking for. But then in the end of the video, I can show you the agency management. So real estate CRM, let's click on that. Use template. Now let's just wait until it's going to load and then I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So real estate CRM, what we can actually find here and how we can work with it. Straight away, it's going to create us four boards, properties, contacts, agency dashboard and CRM learning center, where you can find out more and learn more about how it works. Now, when you're going to click on the properties here, you're going to have the listings and sold pretty straightforward. So let's say I'm going to add a property, which is going to be let's say house and whatever address. This is just a tutorial. What you can do is to have an agent, like let's say yourself or your employee that you would invite, then you would add address and then listing status. If it's an active negotiation, if it's stuck, sold, contract, sent, or offer made. You can also edit the labels here that let's say you want to add a multiple labels, you can easily do that and add a label. Potential buyer, you would add um, like the contacts here and how to do that, you see the leads and we would find the contacts right here under properties. We can add a contact or other contacts, you can add a contact here. Then you're gonna have also the listing time from uh, when to when, start and due date. Then the follow-up uh, days, Let me just read it for you. Days on the market. Then also you're going to have the property type. You can again add an edit label. Let's say it's a condo. Then the price. Square feet. Price per square feet. So if it's going to be, let's say 2000, it's going to automatically calculate for you. And type if it's a buy or a rent. Bedrooms, bathroom, contracts, you can have file and images that you can upload. Now, of course, on a top right, you would have final workflows. And you can simply click here, active workflow. And uh, you see when a listing status changed to sold, move item to sold. So when someone is going to uh, have the to sold, you would add a status. So let's say I would go here to listing status sold. What will happen? It should then automatically create an automation and what will happen, it will take a little bit of time and it will uh, move item to sold. And now seven days before listing time arrives, notify agent. Two days before next follow-up arrives, either listings that is not sold, notify board subscribers. So we have also the automate the workflows here that you can use and find. Now when you're gonna have the properties, you're gonna find also the contacts. That's something uh, we were already doing uh, when we were trying to add a contact in our property. So you can have like the other contacts or you can simply add a potential leads here. And you can add a contact so I can add like this and I can add it to agent, the priority, if it's a lead, client, broker, email and link to the property if I have one. Now, of course, you can have also the other contacts here. My recommendation would be also create a form that you can simply add it by. So if I'm going to create a form, I can add, look at this. So priority, name, type, if it's a lead, and you can edit the form and you can share the form with someone like yourself and just copy it and use it in monday.com, right? Or your employee or someone that would like fill it up. And then automatically you would find it here in potential leads. So that's really cool and what you can do. 
Of course, when you would click on the add plus here, you can add the columns. So you can add essentials, labels, people, and find really the columns that you need for your real estate business. And the last thing that I want to show you is the agency dashboard. And here you would have the analytics like active listings value, average days on the market, average price per square, listing status, new listing deals by month. And you would find all these. So that's interesting. My also recommendation what you can do is when you would click add here, uh, you can add a new board. And let's say you can have tasks. So you can simply create uh, four day to day tasks. And let's have it created for us. I can edit again in our folder. Here I can have uh, tasks to be done. And this is like, okay, let's say this is going to be the done. Done tasks. Then what I have to do. And what I hear I can do is just simply click, let's say this is going to be the people. Or not people, I can add. Let me just show you how we can do it. Properties, this is going to be really interesting. I want to go like here. Conic link H. Okay, so I can add a link H. Okay. And now I can recently used. So let's say I'm going to use from contacts. And I can have it here, right? So I can simply what I have to do, let's say that you would have an item call that call call Jessica right and look at this no 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 I can have a contact now Jessica Lama the potential leads <clears throat> now I can create a Kanban view in our Kanban view I can have call Jessica and I can then easily have it done if I'm going to call. So this, uh, this is a really great way what you can have for your real estate CRM. And what I would recommend to do, have like the tasks list, uh, what it needs to do and what you need to do. So uh, this is how pretty much it works. Now I'm going to show you also another template, how you can add, choose from template. And now I'm going to again click real estate, real estate agency, and I'm going to show you how that works and what you can achieve with it. Here you're going to find the property boards. Again, and lead boards. So this is really, really similar comparing that what we had in real estate CRM. But you can use that too. And agent task management, uh, you would have like task management board. So what needs to be done this week, next week done is really similar to what we created, but a little bit different. The task is what I have to do, done tasks. You can have it also by week if you want. So I can have uh, this week and then have a type. If it's a marketing listing, you can do it if you want to uh, then have a status and then listing status properties board like which connected to the uh, to the task so you can have the property uh, this is also the connected uh, like the board here so even I could do it for what we created here so when I have the tasks to be done and I would click plus here and I would have dependencies I can simply click not dependencies it wasn't dependencies connect boards it was And I can select, uh, this is going to be the properties. See, I can simply choose uh, this listing. 
right? So you would have a property, this one here, and everything is going to be connected. And this is something that you can do with the agent test management. So you can even combine it and optimize it as much as you want. So this is how you can use the real estate for monday.com. If you're gonna have any questions, guys, regards this, ask me down in the comments. And I hope you're going to have a great day. And yeah, see ya. This was a real estate CRM tutorial for monday.com.